This tutorial is going to deal with composing music or using pre-recorded music and moving that music from GarageBand into Blender. Uh, Blender only reads a few file formats, so when you're prepping files, be aware of that um, when you're going in. It does read WAV files and MP3 files, uh, it's not currently reading AIF, Audio International File Format, uh, but we can hopefully look for that in the near future. So our first step is going to be to go into GarageBand and we'll start a new project. And we can give this any name. Uh, I'm just going to let this alone for now as a test. Well, let's call it test, my test. And we're going to save this to uh, some uh, good place, either your backup drive or your external drive or thaw space. Okay, this is a very easy to use application and we're not going to deal with creating music today, uh, but we will deal with how the program works in general. If I go down to the bottom here, you can see that I've got a little I and the I will look for music and clips. We have a large clip loop library that allows you to compose music. But if we go up here to the podcast button, we see that we have sound effects, stingers, um, all effects, stingers, sound effects, and jingles, pre-recorded songs that we can work with. I like the loop down here called Progressive House. And here we can demo it. I'm going to mark this as a favorite for later. It's a minute and three seconds, which makes it a perfect time for this first project. Now all I need to do is grab this and drag it into the body of the music editor. And there we have it. Voila. So there's our piece of music. What I'm going to do now is export that music, and we're going to go to the share uh, not like Sunny and Share, but Share, like send it somewhere else. And I've got a couple of options. We're going to go to Export Song to Disc. And let's turn this off for a minute and see what we get. Um, first of all, we start in the original quality. That's an AIF file. If I go to the compressor, you can see I've got a couple of choices. AA3C encoder, which is a very high quality encoder, uh, but it's really for iTunes and Apple base, uh, home based use. MP3 encoder works great here, and I can work with different qualities. Uh, because you're already compressing, I would highly recommend that you work at the highest quality at all times. So we're going to export this out and Here's my file, and I'm going to send it to, again, a safe place, uh, either thaw space or your external drive. And we're going to mix down, normalize, reset uh, levels, and then convert the file to the proper form. So now let's hide GarageBand. And we're going to go into, there we are, Blender. And if we open up Blender, uh, I'm going to just start at our basic window here, and I'm going to go to the Video Sequence Editor. And when I turn this on, we can see we have lots of tracks. And here I can stack and mix and time audio and video, composite more video, add another audio track, and so on. So it's a very powerful track. If I go to the Add button, I can add audio. I've got two choices. Uh, RAM, which keeps everything running in RAM, or off uh, connecting to the hard drive. For our projects, let's just connect to the hard drive for now. And we've got to dig up our file. We've talked about the file format. And so I'm going to go to, in my case, users, K. William, and I've got my files on my desktop. And there's their mytest.mp3 left click to select it and then over on this side select audio and when I move the mouse in now I've got this track that I can move around I'm gonna put it in track one and I can drag it up to about any uh, frame it can be any frame that I want 
So let's just start right about there. Now to listen to things back, let's go down to our bottom window for a minute and I'm going to just bring up the timeline and now when I play something nothing happens. So I note I've got a little speaker icon here. So let's turn the speaker icon on. And now I've got music. Now let's go over to our animation window and when I'm working in the timeline I should be able to hear that. Oh, okay, turned off. So let's turn that on and when I'm animating I can now line things up with the beats of the music. And if that's getting to me because I'm working on little details I can just turn that off and not have to listen to it all the time. So that's all we need to know for getting music, uh, some music pre-recorded and then moved into Blender for animation.